Hi, I'm Kyle Snyder. I'm a professor within Ohio University's School of Media Arts and Studies within the Scripps College of Communication. We're sitting in uh, our brand new post-production and critical listening facility, uh, which we're bringing online here for the fall of 16-17. Uh, uh, we're really excited to be uh, integrating uh, Nuage and Nuendo into our uh, music production and recording industry curriculum as part of the uh, post-production uh, classes, uh, as well as part of uh, game audio design classes and uh, VR and AR classes that are being taught through the Immersive Media Initiative. Um, as we went through the design and planning phases for this, uh, for this particular facility, uh, we started to realize that what was available on market uh, in sort of the traditional post-production uh, you know, offering uh, really wasn't what we wanted to be offering to students. You know, it was, uh, there, there were the traditional pieces of software that um, you know, might, might be considered industry standard, but really didn't, um, really didn't offer students sort of the depth and breadth that we wanted to be teaching. Uh, so as we, uh, as we were considering all of the uh, tools available, uh, we started to uh, consider other options, and uh, Nuage sort of kept coming up in uh, all of the, all of the uh, must-consider lists. Um, and what, what, what's really compelling is, you know, obviously, you know, we, we sort of went all in with, with Yamaha. You know, it's, it's a full, fully Dante-enabled room. Um, actually, we, uh, we have headphone systems that are fully Dante-enabled, so in this, in this room, we can teach students how to digitally patch things and, you know, really give them, you know, a 21st century education, uh, which fully complements our analog rooms and things like that. Uh, we're really proud because in this room we're teaching, you know, ADR, Foley, sound design and things like that with, uh, with Nuage and Nuendo, which um, is something that we have not really been able to uh, do nearly as deeply uh, with, uh, with other platforms. So this is our uh, ADR and Foley room. It has a 4x4x1 uh, four by four by uh, set of Foley pits. Not quite as deep as what you would see in a professional Foley studio, but uh, really rather phenomenal for uh, an educational institution. Uh, we're proud to be one of a select uh, number of educational institutions in North America that has this available to students. Um, and this is really incredible because whenever you're cutting uh, sound effects in Foley for film, um, you know, we have in here, it's, it's currently being constructed, but, you know, we have a variety of different surfaces and uh, different environments. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, rock, sand, gravel, things like that. So students can really create the full uh, environment uh, as part of their film. This is uh, Media Sound. It's our primary and really introductory analog recording facility. It's an amazing room that we uh, get to bring our freshmen and sophomore students in, into, uh, which is a, an amazing facility. Uh, for really beginning your analog and uh, primary recording uh, production education. It's built around the Rupert Neve 5088 analog uh, production console, uh, which features, among other things, um, an amazing line mixer, as well as the Rupert Neve uh, porticos, which are really revered throughout the industry. Um, and what's really fantastic from a post-production standpoint is students can come in here and they can really vi visualize the signal uh, from an analog standpoint, and if they can fully grasp uh, their, uh, their production education uh, within the analog r realm, they can then move on up to the uh, Nuage and Nuendo room and easily dive into Nuendo, uh, which has, among other things, a fantastic uh, and really well-designed uh, channel strip um, and continue on in their education within the digital realm. So this is our analog mixing and mastering room. What's really interesting is that uh, this is built around, built around the Rupert Neve uh, 5060. Uh, so this room, uh, pedagogically, students start out in the, uh, the full analog room that we were just in, and they actually come into this room with all of their tracks uh, fully recorded, and then they mix down from, uh, from analog stems, and then they can play out into a secondary mastering computer. Uh, they actually have the opportunity to master down to, uh, to analog tape as well. Uh, so pedagogically, we have the opportunity for students to uh, mix and master in multiple analog rooms which we're really happy to have the, uh, the opportunity for students to do. What's really nice is students have the chance to work in multiple analog rooms, but then they have the chance to go up and compare and contrast that knowledge to the Nuendo and Nuage rooms so they can see what a full analog workflow uh, looks like. They can see what a hybrid analog digital workflow looks like in this room uh, with, uh, with various uh, hardware emulated plugins. And then they can go upstairs to our new Wash Nuendo room where things are completely digital and they can see how uh, you know, different workflows are going to work, uh, look like for uh, you know, their future careers.